Yeah, so the owner of Coors, the owner of Corona, and the owner of Guinness walk into a bar. The owner of Coors says, I'd like a Coors, and he gets a Coors. The owner of Corona says, I'll have a Corona, so he gets a Corona. The owner of Guinness says, I'll have a water. The other two owners look at the owner of Guinness like he just told them something really dumb and say, what the hell, man? Why, what, what's going on here? Why are you ordering water? And the owner of Guinness says, neither of you ordered a beer, so neither will I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. Yeah, any road. Let's get going. Sorry about the interruption. No problem, man. Before I could do anything, she had disappeared through the ventilator. Darka, she is so naughty. <laughs> Alright, topic two. Oh. This one's gonna be frustrating. Moving on, we come to the heart of the matter, the grim demise of the victim. How indeed did this young man lose his life, and why? According to the data of which I have been apprised, it would appear that there were no visible signs of injury. Ah. You might keep eating your eyes. Sorry. In fact, the circumstances of the victim's death can only be explained by a terrible venom. No. What Mr. Sholmes says is true. There were no signs of a wound anywhere on Kazuma-sama's body. That's right. He means his neck wasn't broken. But Mr. Sholmes seems to be unaware of one very important detail. Um... No, you can... You can break someone's neck and have no external signs of injury. Kazuma wasn't poisoned. Also, venom yes, is not poison. So. Let's give him the information he's missing now. Um. Uh, that'd be the autopsy report, wouldn't it? Would it? All right. I believe so. R. Yes. Wrong. What spectacularly contrived logic led to this mindless conclusion? <laughs> oh, well, um, it's supposed to be a logic and reasoning spectacular, so I thought I'd contribute to the show. It's my show, Mr. Narhodo. Now kindly perform any peculiar experiments on your own stage. Ah, uh, sorry. You, you presented the wrong article. <laughs> Frick. We even told you which one. I know, but uh, I, I got confused by the icon. Next time, yeah. pay attention to what it actually says, don't just look at the well, icon. Well, I'm the icon slayer, so... Yeah. Yes! Postmortem report. In fact, the circumstances of the victim's death can only be explained by the postmortem report. Ah, yes. I knew it was one or the other. <coughs> uh -huh. Sure you did. His neck was... His neck was... Snap like a twig. Indeed, the breaking of the cervical vertebrae is fatal. Only that Goliath would be strong enough to survive that. No, not even that Goliath. Seaman Stroganoff isn't some mortal freak, you know. Hey, he said his neck right. Anyway, we have on good authority that the victim's neck was broken. It's not like Stroganoff on his sus. Now, if we take that as fact... Hmm. We 
can reasonably imagine that there remains evidence to affirm it at the scene of the crime. Oh no, could there be? I don't like how long these cases are, really. Ah uh, yes, an examination of the deceased's body will prove the cause of death conclusively. Kazuma died because his neck was broken. In other words, uh, I was probably struck. Struck by someone, uh, something, or someone. Yes, that's a distinct possibility. As of yet, no weapon has been found, though. Presumably, Dark uh, didn't silently creep up behind Kazuma and deal a fatal blow. I suppose. It's possible that he had a fall and hit the ground awkwardly. Oh, accidental? It could have been a terrible act of misfortune that he had broke his neck completely by accident. Oh yes, a bad fall could explain it. Rather hard to believe of Kasuma's oh. though. There's no way they It wasn't a clumsy man. Hmm, well we need to fix this deduction somehow. Is there anything from the scene that could explain what happened? Uh The broken bell. Cricket! The broken bell. Did he slip on his frickin' Yes! Examination of the mark on the floor. Great naps to Luke's ghost. Yes, an examination of the mark on the floor will prove the cause of death conclusively. This particular mark, so prominently visible next to the victim's body, is a deposit of shoe polish. Ah, shoe polish. Shoe polish? Indeed. Positively identified by a little analysis device I constructed, which I carry now as a matter of course. Aha, uh -huh, an analysis device. Beeswax, tallow, and dye were my results. The undeniable ingredients of shoe polish. Sounds. And the color of the polish is a perfect match to the color of Mr. Sogi's laced leather shoes. Looking at this mark, it's not hard to imagine what happened. For some reason, Mr. Sogi must have caught his foot at that point on the floor and tripped. Please, no. What a wedding to go. And by a dreadful turn of misfortune, caught his neck against some immovable object as he fell to the floor. Suffering a fatal blow to the spine, the victim's vertebrae shattered, and in that instance, he lost his life. No! I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Is that really true, Miss Pavlova? What about the evidence left at the scene where Mr. Asogi lost his life? Are we gonna rule this an accidental death and not go to trial? That would be... that would be different. Yes, the facts are as clear as day to me. That would be very different. You did all you could to conceal the incriminating evidence. So it'll be an accidental death, it won't go to trial, and then we'll find another body and have to investigate oh, that. Brother. But uh. now you're involuntary. But now your involuntary glance betrays the hiding place you chose. That's right, you hid the evidence that links you to the victim's death in that traveling case. I don't believe it. Kazuma-sama merely tripped over and... And now he's no more? It can't be true. I refuse to accept it. We've got crazy theories already. We've got theories that he's not dead. We've got theories that he died accidentally. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but the mark on the floor does seem to suggest that's what happened. But... And if this part of Mr. Sholmes' deduction is right, Miss Pavlova is trying to hide some evidence that would prove it. Here in this cabin, somewhere in the direction that she just cast her eyes. 
Where, I wonder? Let's have a good look around. The answer must be here somewhere. Let's get this round. You can move the camera to look downward, can't you? Ah. This is a waste paper basket. Perhaps all the first class cabins have them. But Miss Pavlova only started occupying this cabin late last night. Perhaps there's not much rubbish in there yet. <gasps> oh my fucking god. Oh, what's that? It's a broken- It's a broken piece of glass, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. If it looks familiar, perhaps it's more than your mind simply playing tricks on you. That's right, you hid the evidence that links you to the victim's death in that waste paper basket. The basket. Ah! Um. Huh. Here we have a fragment of some intricate glass art. <laughs> One that has a familiar air, in fact. Precisely, we found another piece of broken glass on the floor in Mr. Sogi's cabin. And as you can see, the two pieces fit together perfectly. Oh no! So, Miss Pavlova, shall we consider what this tells us? Why would it be that part of this glass object, which was like, evidently broken at the scene of the victim's death, should be found in the waste paper basket in your cabin? You're well acquainted with this glass bed, are you not? I... I don't... I don't know in that hushed... Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know in that hushed Russian accent of yours won't save you this time, dear girl. Why? Because we have conclusive evidence linking you to the bell in question. What? Why do I have to Take do it away, this? Mr. Narahodo. Uh, yes. The evidence linking Miss Pavlova and the little glass bell, that would be... Look at this photograph! Yes! <laughs> there you go. If you look at this photograph, you can clearly see... <laughs> hanging from Darka's collar. <laughs> the very glass bell in question. Bye. <laughs> the truth has caught up to you, Miss Pavlova. That joke will never get old. <laughs> right? The young man who lost his life last night did so after a truly inauspicious fall. And the cause of that fateful stumble? But it's an accident. You're trying to blame the cat? Was tripping over the cat. Your absent feline friend, Darker. No, there's no way in hell. Ugh, hold on, I gotta do. Feel like there I is. I couldn't. A... I feel like there is a way in hell. I couldn't tell anyone. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah! ah. Death by tripping over a cat. <laughs> oh, what a way to go! Oh, the one I snake. still don't believe he's dead. What a snake! <laughs> I guess he's cosplaying as a fish because he's a red herring. I think the snake believe. I I I have a theory that the snake belongs to Stroganoff. Really? Why don't you tell us now, Miss Pavlova? Tell us exactly what happened last night. <laughs> I hope we finish this in the next half hour. It was a little after one in the morning. 
it was so late, but I hadn't had time to feed Dorka, so I gave her some food. And then, all of a sudden, she scratched me and jumped out of my hands. Ah! Hmm, people do say that cats become very anxious and nervous in new environments. Hmm. She was so fast, she disappeared through the ventilator before I could stop her. <clears throat> and that's how you acquire the rather nasty wound on the back of your hand, I take it. Yes. And I had read the, um, rules on the wall. I knew that I was not allowed Darka with me. Yes, modern science suggests that animals can carry infectious disease. It is a precaution, really. So I listened and listened, trying to hear if there was some noise in the next cabin. It was very quiet. I was sure if someone was there, he must be sleeping. So at that point... Ah, uh, Shoms. Yes, me. So at that point, you thought it safe to try the loo of the kitten back again. By banging the end of the toy through the ventilator into the adjoining cabin. Arka always loves this toy. But it didn't work. Nothing worked. I tried using her favorite toy. I tried whistling to her softly, but nothing. She didn't return. So the faint whistling sound Kazuma wrote about in his diary was Miss Pavlova trying to retrieve her pet. <laughs> Cats have a propensity for remaining in the shadows when frightened. Yes, so there was nothing else I could do. I just had to wait until she had calmed down. But then... <laughs> My downstairs, and it smells awesome. What's downstairs? I... My brother's cooking downstairs, and it smells awesome. Mm. I... I nearly passed out of a shock. I heard her cry out, and then... Oh, it was such a dreadful bang. Then afterwards, nothing. It was totally silent. Kazuma was... Mm, I've taken the liberty of adding dots. From the appearance of the brown mark on the floor... Mm. It seems likely that what you heard was the victim stepping on the glass bell and tripping up. So, it really was an accidental death, so what... What the... Okay. The SS Puria is a large vessel, but even she can pitch and roll violently without warning. If Mr. Asogi was already off balance as a result of the ship lurching when the kitten got under his feet... Mm -hmm. The combination of unfortunate factors could easily have caused him to fall over. Is this the first accidental death in an Ace Attorney game, or is it actually not accidental? Good question. Yeah, wow, well, good question. But what became of the kitten afterwards? Well, we had that thing where it was accidental murder is still murder, where someone killed someone else accidentally, but they... Hmm. Right. Oh yeah, they still charge it as murder, yeah, you're right. In the end, I managed to get her to come back through the ventilator. Yet Darko is nowhere to be seen. I... must have forgotten to lock my case. And now she's disappeared again. Gracious. 
That cat is as insufferably restless as I am. No kidding. Well, he knows something about himself, at least. When I woke this morning, I heard that the young man in the cabin... Next door. <laughs> In the cabin next to mine had died. But Damn it. you skipped my line again. Damn space bar. <laughs> but I couldn't bring myself to tell anyone what had happened. I was too scared. Scared, scared that they would send me back. Oh, hold on a minute. What about the snake? Oh, you're right. Where is it? If the snake isn't your friend, Miss Pebble, then whose is it and where did it come from? What on earth is such a dangerous creature doing on board this ship? Is it his? It is his, isn't it? Oh, it was right. I didn't say? Snake is my friend. His name is Pirosko. Piroshko. Piroshko. Like Piroshki, but with an O. <laughs> what? Who that snake belongs to you? I hate when the game skips text like that, but it's probably not expecting yeah. people to read it out loud. He escaped from cage when emergency alarm sounded. I was looking for him. I did not expect to find him in here. Yes, how did that snake get into this cabin? What? Animals are not permitted on board. Ha! We are at sea for one year. You want to be so long without close friend? Without someone who understands? Understands what? It can't hear you. <laughs> it's, a re it's got a reptile brain. Couldn't you find someone a little more human who understands you better? One with ears, maybe? Hmm, but my dear burly fella... <laughs> a gargantuan venomous snake? Surely you could appreciate the danger you're putting everyone else in. No venom. Hmm? Piroshko does not have venom. He is harmless. Very long, but very gentle. He is adorable, like Granny. Why don't you just say Babushka? It's venomous? Yeah, it looks like a bulk Yes, now he's hungry, so he is in bad mood. But once I feed him, you will see big smile. And you feed him what? Milk, I suppose? Rinosuke, we went over this. Ha! Like they say they milk chickens? Ridiculous! Snakes that drink milk are only in stupid stories. Way to call on a Colin Doyle. Poroshko eats mouse. It's mousies. Big, fat, round mousies. Ah. Oh, so... Was that what the mousetrap in the passageway out there is for? Of course! How else can I catch my friend's favorite food? Nothing says top of the food chain like the look in their eyes right now. <laughs> dot. <clears throat> dot, 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 dot. It refuses to drink milk, it can't hear a whistle, it can't climb a bell cord, and it's not even venomous. How the deuce did something so inept lie in a starring role? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> we need the what counter. I need you guys to find me all the instances of what uh, so I can super edit that. <laughs> it's not my fault. I do not make up stories. Do you want that only in chapter two? No, I wanna I wanna go back and, and get all the what's from previous left episodes. Chapter one as well? Yeah. Okay. My Piroshko is nothing to do with this incident. So that's what happened. That's the truth behind my best friend's tragic death. He tripped over a cat. What a way to go. Are we sure about this? Well, we still haven't solved the mystery of the mass headache, so there's no way in hell this is done. I hope this investigation part's done, at least. 
On to investigation part four. I don't have time for that. Miss Pavlova? I understand the difficult situation you found yourself in, and I do sympathize. But please remember this. A young man lost his life. If you're going to attempt to cover up your guilt with lies, then... Then no matter what the circumstances, I cannot forgive you. But... What are you talking about, Miss Mikotova? What lies? Miss Pavlova just confessed to everything. It was just a series of unfortunate events. I never read the book. An accident. There, you're not missing much. It's just so depressing. <laughs> I'm no great detective like Mr. Sholmes. I don't have a gift for knowing the truth. But even I can see, that was not the truth. Don't Shut you up, agree, Mr. Narahato? Sorry, what's not the truth? What? To be perfectly honest, yes. There's a discrepancy in Miss Pavlova's story, I'm sure of it. I just can't quite put my finger on it. Now, I don't know where to put the what counter. That's... that's a question. Uh, top right corner? This deserves a what. Because... Um. I... Question. Didn't, uh, uh, what? <laughs> didn't, he, didn't didn't Kazuma hear the sound at, or see the speckled banner like one and didn't like the log stop at like two? All right, look at the log. One thirty, nothing to report. So don't you think that he would have heard something if he'd actually died at 1 a.m.? She said at 1. Now look at the, uh... Autopsy report? I confess. So what if he, did, what if he did fall because of the cat, but it didn't kill him? One and two. What if, look at his, uh, journal again. One last time. No, it couldn't have been at 1, because his journal said 135. Yeah. Hmm. So it had to have been after 135. Hmm. I confess. I was intending to let Scotland Yard deal with any outstanding issues on this matter. You want Lestrade to deal with it? Oh. I am only present here for a very specific reason, fan service. The truth is, you, Mr. Narahodo, are simply a distraction. A distraction? I do hope you're not finding your shackles too uncomfortable. Oh. Not again! When did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> Especially as they are on your wrist as a result of my intervention. I was rather hoping I could resolve matters before we made our next port call. You were Mr. Sholmes? Holy crap, how long is this game? But I overlooked one important detail. The deceased young man was a very close companion of yours. Was he not? Yes. Kazuma was my closest friend. I owed him my freedom, even. So I didn't kill him. Got it? <clears throat> In that case, we must follow this to its conclusion. No further distractions. You must uncover the real truth here, Mr. Norahodo. We've not a moment to lose. Yes, whatever that may be. 
The key to this is the discrepancy in Miss Pavlova's story, I'm sure. If I can chase that down, maybe the truth will become clear. The truth about how you really died. About how that scene in your cabin really came to be. Please tell me there's a to be continued here. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Naruhoto. So then, shall we begin? Yes. What we should ponder first. I realize what the controversy is. Is the victim who lost his controversy? life in a cabin that was built in? Was this truly an unfortunate accident? I realize what she spotted, what was wrong. Ah. Or was it in fact no accident at all? This is what must needs be established in the first instance. <laughs> ah, but we've already established what haven't we? The man tripped over the kitten that had climbed into his cabin via the ventilator. Tragic, yes, but still an accident. I swear to <gasps> hell if there... Wait, who said hold it? Wait, let's just take a step back. Doesn't make sense if that's really what happened, does it? Oh, thank God. I, I mean, I'm relieved, but I'm also not relieved because we're gonna have to end this out pretty soon. Do you want me to say in recording or I'm after recording it, I think? I'm gonna have to ask you to start out for me, I'm afraid. In recording. You're completely blind okay. as well, right? If you turn out to be right, yes. then oh well. If you turn out to be wrong... I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm completely blind on this. But I okay. still think he's alive. Um, the autopsy report said he died instantly. Mm -hmm. How did he write the message? Also, mm. how did she get half of the bell back? True. Hmm. Yes, it's starting to sh take shape now. There's a clear contradiction between the facts and Miss Pavlova's story here. The evidence is right there in Kazuma's cabin. It's undeniable. His death couldn't possibly have been a mere accident. Oh. Really? Let us show our hand, Mr. Naruhodo. Time to present the evidence. The evidence that proves unequivocally that the victim's death was no mere accident. Mmm. Frick! Really? Uh, uh... Bell? It's either the bell or the autopsy. Why would it be the autopsy report? Because it said he died instantly. Didn't it? Look yes. at it again. Yeah, hang on. This! This uh, piece of broken glass out. next to the mark on the floor. Oh. But that's the glass bell the kitten had around his neck. We already know all about that. It was broken in half when the victim tripped over the cat and fell. So we already have a satisfactory explanation. Where's the law in that logic? Flaw in that logic. Unfortunately, there's a very big flaw. A fatal flaw. What? If that's really what happened, then how did one half of the bell end up back here in this cabin? Ah! Oh. Yes, remember that we found the other half of the glass bell in that waste paper basket. Would you care to explain that, Miss Pavlova? Oh no. That's not the only reason either. There's something else we found in Mr. Asogi's cabin. Why do I get like one line and everyone else gets like. <laughs> A remnant of something that couldn't possibly have been there. If what Miss Pavlova told us was true. What? So Susato-san has noticed it too then. 
Putting the piece of glass aside, there's something else that gives the truth away. Another piece of it. No! Really? The writing? Or... You're right. I think the writing... Yes! Yep, I was right about the postmortem report. No, you were wrong about what the What point are you... Hang on, maybe. What point are you trying to make with that evidence? In other words, what bloody game are you playing? I'm starting to see what, how Kazuma's death really happened, I think. I think. I oh. think that you're starting to see nothing of the sort, and that was the evidence to prove it. Okay, so it wasn't uh, that. He said yes, you. so... Yeah, but the music it didn't stop. Then what we should be looking for is one of two things. Either the absence of something you would expect to find at the scene of an accident, or the presence of something you wouldn't. Hmm. I don't think it's the writing either. Most compendiously put, my dear madam. So if it's not the autopsy report, it's gotta be the writing. Hmm. I confess you're rather languid. I see. Doesn't fiddle me with confidence, Mr. Naruhado. Don't worry, Mr. Naruhado. I believe in you. Well, more than Mr. Sholmes does, anyway. Yes, it's starting to shape to... Uh... I don't know. Something in the cabin. What do we find in the cabin? He doesn't speak Russian. There's that too. So maybe the writing is it. Oh, yes! yeah, the presence of something unexpected. The truth is clearly recorded in this photographic print. There's no way that Mr. Sogi could have left this message on the floor. studying Russian. We have no evidence of that. It is a simple language. He, he could have picked it up very fast. I doubt that. What? It's a very complex language. That doesn't seem likely. That's actually not the point. It makes no difference whether he knew not Russian or not. Sorry. What do you mean? Ugh, so obvious. Come on. Exactly what I said before. There is no way that Mr. Sogi could have left this message on the floor. And the reason why is clearly back. explained in here. Yes. Oh, I wonder if you could have... Instant death. Oh. Uh -huh. Which means, after the victim fell to the floor, he couldn't possibly have written anything. Because he was already dead. It always happens in the Ace Attorney games! Yep. Like, whenever something is written on the ground, it's always because- It's always not possible because the victim died instantly. Every single yep, yep. time. Only game I can think of where it actually was the victim ah. was- Dungeon Rampa! And that's not Ace Attorney at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Both of these pieces of evidence clearly point to the same conclusion. That when Mr. Sogi died last night in his cabin, there was someone else in the room, and I know who it is. Go, Snapper! And that same person deliberately arranged the scene to disguise the truth in order to cover up their own guilt. Ah. Yes, there was someone else present in Mr. Asogi's... You are wasting 
You are wasting time. Someone else was there? Da! Of course, we know this. What are you talking about? You're getting kind of defensive, ain't you? Bulkhead was bolted shut from inside. There was no way in or out. Oh yeah, well I can use some in and out right now. Oh yes. Was that a euphemism? Animal style. No, no, no. I'm, we, in California, we have a chain of burger places here called. In okay, I didn't know if you were talking about the burgers. You just—it was the way you said it that I thought it was. I'm from California. I always mean the burgers. <laughs> they actually do have good burgers, though. Yeah, get them animal fries too, Moira. And the only other person in Cabot when Young stood oh, yes! inside was you. It's true. I was in the cabin when it happened, and I need to go to bed. <laughs> All right. uh, in the next one? In the next one, we'll finish this. If it ends up being like 15 minutes, then I'll just tack it on to the end of this one, um, and then and cut out the part, and then see what I'm working with. I'm gonna have to like double edit this episode. I'm gonna do well, one pass through just, just cutting out that part where we were gone for five minutes, and then. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the next one, we'll see you. In the next one, we'll uh, see you. I don't know how Bye. to end up. Yeah. Matter. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.